UCLA 40, Washington uh, 32 on Friday night. And this one went south on me so fast. I bet Washington on the BetUS show. I thought that I was, uh, I thought I could see the board clearly. And I was so incorrect on this. I, I don't, I can't even explain how incorrect I was on this. Um, UCLA came out and, and Dorian Thompson Robinson was dealing. He was throwing dimes everywhere on the field. They were able to run the ball. Zach Charbonnet had like 125 yards. Uh, it was it was nuts. Uh, looking at the overall stats, uh, they won yardage uh, 499 to 410. They won here. Let me go ahead and pull it up on the screen while I'm talking about it. Um, they won yardage uh, 499 to 410. They won yards per play 6.9 to 5.7. Third downs 71 to 53 percent. They won turnovers two to nothing. Uh, they ran the ball 184 to 65. And they UCLA won, led this game 40 to 16 early in the fourth quarter before Washington rallied in this game. I mean, it, it, it was massive stats for UCLA in this game. Uh, if you look on your screen, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, all of the green for UCLA is good. The purple is bad. So Washington, their EPA per rush was pretty bad. Um, it, both of them's defensive run stuff rate, really bad. Not good. So uh, while Washington was able to put up some stats late, they couldn't do it for most of the game. Washington jumped out to a 7 to nothing lead, and then UCLA uh, turned it over on downs at the 1, and then forced a safety, so it was 7-2. to two. They kicked the ball back to UCLA. UCLA comes down the field and scores, and then it's just UCLA touchdown, UCLA touchdown, UCLA. It, Michael Penix throwing those interceptions, especially early, was uh, just mind-blowing because he hasn't looked like that all season long. Friday nights, on the road, Pack 12 after dark, weird stuff happens. So this was Washington's first real bit of adversity, and uh, and they, they showed up late in this game to make it at least interesting. But, man, uh, when I went back, because I went to bed before this thing was over. <laughs> I mean, at halftime, I was like, nope, I'm not setting up for this. I can't deal with it. I, I've got a lot to do on Saturday. Um, but this was, I mean, Washington did not look good. They did not look good. And now this sets up a really, really big game in the Rose Bowl for UCLA this coming weekend because Utah is coming to town. If they get a win over Utah, I mean, this schedule opens up for them. Uh, let me look at UCLA's remaining schedule uh, because they are, I mean, it, it's it's really interesting to see. They have got Utah and then they've got Oregon. All right, so the two straight pretty difficult games, but they've got a bye week before Oregon. And I swear if that thing keeps Swapping over, I'm going to get it fixed by Tuesday. I'll let you know. Uh, but regardless, they have got they host Utah this weekend. They've got a bye week. Then they go to Oregon. Then Stanford, Arizona State, Arizona. And then they've got USC. All right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Chip Kelly. Uh, after, the, uh, after the USC game, of course, they got Cal. But I, I think this team is good enough to win the rest of them. I think UCLA is good enough to win the Pac-12. It, it's it's mind blowing. Now, obviously, all that is said if DTR plays well, which he doesn't always do. So, <laughs> which is the reason why I bet on Washington because you never know what version you're going to get at this team. Uh, but if he plays like he did on Friday night, yeah, this team could win the Pac-12 title. I mean, it, how how mind blowing would that be with all this hype around USC? Everybody was talking about Utah in the off season, and now a DTR last year, and everybody was. You know, does Chip Kelly still have it? And blah, 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 blah. Uh, looks good to me. I mean, dude looks perfectly fine. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.